One of the great things about the MFA research uh, degree is that you come in and you engage almost immediately uh, with a creative project. Um, it's a chance to really develop your work in a creative and innovative way. You will be working with your supervisors and peers and it's a chance to actually take these ideas that you have um, just that little bit further than you might if you were working alone. One of the main research uh, approaches that we employ within the degree is uh, called practice-led research. Um, in, in essence, what that is, is uh, research which originates um, and is driven by the creative practice. In that respect, um, your methods of research are in fact your methods of practice. I think other interesting aspects to consider with the MFA research is the, the research culture itself within the creative industries. Um, we have conferences uh, that run every year, postgraduate conferences, uh, and this is a great opportunity uh, to get to meet people uh, from a whole range of different research degrees within the faculty, and also to uh, connect with different types of creativity and different sorts of um, research thinkings. If you're working in filmmaking, for example, visual arts, fashion, any of the creative industries, it's a degree that will allow you to extend your practice specifically through research and high-level academic work. At the heart of the MFA research is your own project. So you come up with a concept, you develop the concept, you work it up into a full body of work. So for example, if you're a visual artist, you might come up with a whole uh, concept and a whole body of work that results in a major exhibition at the end. If you're a choreographer or a dancer, it would be performance. Or for example, if you're a fashion designer, you might design a collection that would have a public showing at the end. I'd really recommend this degree to emerging practitioners who are really wanting to extend their practice and particularly if they want to be involved in a really exciting uh, interdisciplinary cohort because one of the great things about this MFA is that even if you're from a visual arts background you'll be mixing with creative writers and with animators and maybe with dancers and there's always opportunities to work together on kind of new um, interdisciplinary art forms. Alongside a really exciting suite of coursework that we offer, at the heart of this degree is the opportunity to work intensively on a creative project. So when you leave, you'll be leaving with a body of fully formed and developed creative work. So one of the really lovely things about the degree is that it offers you the opportunity to be part of a creative cohort, so you're not just working in isolation. Um, you'll have the opportunity to refine and develop your work in conjunction with your supervisor, but also with your peers. One of the unique things about our MFA is that it will feature visits from expert practitioners in their field, so students will be able to make really exciting new connections. So if you're considering doing the MFA at QT, I highly recommend it because it gives you that dedicated time and space to really develop your practice in an incredibly supportive environment. It provides a cross-section of coursework subjects that you can choose to take across a range of creative industries disciplines set up through a project by which you can fully research on an area of choice. The benefit of having access to so many disciplines gives you the opportunity to collaborate in a whole range of innovative ways and looking at incorporating different practices within your project and research. Why do this course at QUT? Because it presents you with a really wonderful opportunity to connect with your creative passion, to collaborate across a range of creative industries disciplines and to produce a piece of work, a project and research that they can contribute back to industry again.